Hey guys, Adam here, The Roof Strategist. Today we're gonna to talk about acing your pitch at the door to start those conversations. And before you're thinking it, that reflection you're seeing in there, it's not a pot plant, it's a tomato plant. We got that out of the way. All right, so what I want you to do in this video is to first table and forget everything that you've been taught about knocking doors or canvassing scripts because chances are they're garbage. Now that's a big claim to make and I'll let you be the judge after you hear me out. First, I wanna open with a question. What is the number one thing that needs to happen when you knock on a door? Is it to get your pitch in? Is it to introduce yourself? The answer is none of those. It's to start a conversation. Follow-up question, what's the best way to start a conversation? It's to ask a question. And if you can ask an open-ended question, which requires some thinking, you'll start a conversation much easier than asking a closed-ended question, which is a yes or no. Chances are, some discomfort that you might experience as a salesperson or a new salesperson will inspire you to ask closed-ended questions like, has anyone been out to take a look at your roof yet? That's a closed-ended question because there's two answers, yes or no, which says, no, we're good, thanks, boom, door's closed. When you get nervous, oftentimes unconsciously, salespeople will set themselves up for that closed-ended question because it makes rejection easier. So you need to stop that, okay? The other thing you need to do is to keep it short and to keep it specific to the customer or homeowner, prospective customers, stage in the claims process. What I want you to do if you haven't done so yet is watch my video on the four stages of the claims process. Because if I approach a homeowner who just had a hailstorm happen and they had one inch size hail, they may not know if they had damage yet, they may not know if they need to file a claim or what their options are. My pitch is gonna be different than if baseball size hail obliterated their siding, put a hole in the grill cover and knocked out their windows of their car. They know that there's damage there, right? So if I said, hey, have you had an inspection yet? Like an inspection, I can see my house is freaking Swiss cheese from the driveway. You don't need to open with that canned pitch. Chances are most training programs out there, the pitch is as long as my damn folio. It's like, oh, you need to knock on the door, then you need to tell your name, then you need to tell the name of the company, then tell them how long you've been in business and where your office is located, and you need to offer a free inspection. And the only hook is a free inspection. But you don't know if that's what they want. If I have my check in my hand as a homeowner, do I want a free inspection? Hell no. Give me a bid, that's what the homeowner thinks. Now it's your job to flip it around. You gotta start that conversation. So I'm gonna give you a few examples. When I knock on a door, right? Dogs are gonna go nuts right now, watch. <laughs> knock on the door and I'm gonna say, they're gonna answer, I'm gonna say, oh, hi there, my name's Adam. I've been working with Sally next door on their roof. Now, uh, the reason I'm stopping by, when I met Sally, her roof only was covered part of the way. We ended up getting it covered the full way. We'll be doing it next week. Just wanted to stop by and ask you how the process went with the insurance company. So it's kind of uncomfortable, by the way, end of role play, to ask that question that way. But all I ask is, how's the insurance process been for you? I also referenced that that claim was partially covered. Now we got it fully covered. You'll notice that's an open-ended question. She's off guard, she knows that I'm working with Sally, the neighbor, we can start a simple question. That's associated with, with um, a specific part of the claims process where the claim was partially paid. Here's another example. We knock, oh hey, we haven't met yet, my name's Adam, I'm with the Roof Strategist, and we've been in the Golden Hill subdivision helping folks who've had their claims denied initially by the insurance company, get their claims approved, and I just wanted to stop by and see what the outcome was for your roof. Boom, it's open-ended. They're gonna tell you. It doesn't matter if their claim was denied. That's the kicker, right? Because if her claim was approved and she has a check in hand, she goes, oh, you know what, we must have been lucky. Uh, we got the paperwork, it's covered, we're just looking for a roofer. Great, now I don't need to tell you what to do. You know what you have to do. Perfect, perfect opportunity to say, fantastic. Well, I'm glad you got covered. Uh, do you mind if I take a look and I might be able to help you out or, or get you on your way? Yeah, great, now we're further in the conversation, right? You don't need to get too far ahead of yourself with the pitch. So keep it short and ask an open-ended question. Now to help you along this process to formulate your questions by referencing the neighborhood, the type of people, the claims process, the, the, the neighbor's name. I have a little bonus um, piece in my Roofing Sales Accelerator Marketing Pack to help you ace your pitch. It's three templated pieces to just grab a little swipe bank, as I call it, an idea bank to keep printed out in your truck and you can look at it and be like, you know what, I worked this neighborhood today. These houses were on the fringe area. People don't know if they have damage. I know I'm getting a lot of people that I need to file a claim with. Then I've got this neighborhood where I've already opened up. I've got four customers, they're all obliterated. So I have a different script for this. But if you can keep it to, let's say, five sentences or less, with an open-ended question that requires thought, 
for them to start a conversation, you're gonna set that hook at the door. And where most sales guys go wrong is one of three ways. One, their script takes forever. The homeowner feels sold and talked at and they're gonna close the door, okay? Number two, it needs to be relevant to them specifically. And number three, it needs to be short and end with that question, all right? If you can ace those elements and set the hook without trying to get the whole, you know, you don't need to vomit your whole pitch out, you can exercise some restraint. It's just starting a conversation. If you follow this advice, by the way, door knocking starts to suck a whole lot less because you don't think that every door that you knock on, you're trying to sell right away. Reframe your thinking. I'm just here to start a conversation. How would I do it, right? Start those conversations, the sale will happen naturally. So if you haven't done so, please watch the four stages of claims process video. It's gonna make all this make sense. You're also welcome to check out my Roofing Sales Accelerator Marketing Pack. There's a link in the description with everything included, including that Ace Your Pitch template, which is a great tool and a great exercise for you to complete, print out, and keep in your truck. You're gonna just be, you're gonna become such a stronger door knocker. You're gonna hate door knocking a whole lot less. You're gonna start more conversations easier, and the result is making more sales, all right? So check it out. Uh, once you complete your purchase, it'll be emailed to you instantly along with a playlist to watch to really help you get through everything. Last thing, subscribe to the channel. I make these videos in response to requests from comments, from people who bought the accelerator pack and email me, from people who reach out on Facebook. I wanna hear from you. Drop the comments below, subscribe, stay up to date, and happy selling. Cheers to making door knocking not suck. We'll see you in the next one.